Hello, I'm Anna Mackay and this video is called Inverse Proportion and it has a connection to the last video where we looked at direct proportion. So, in this case, this is how it's written for inverse proportion. So that symbol that we've got there is um, the symbol that we talked about directly proportional to, but in this case it's inverse. Have a look where the x is. So, we say that y is inversely proportional to x. This will make a lot more sense when we start to do some examples. Okay, so here's an example of what the graphs of these types of things will look like. And you might notice that it's part of a hyperbola. So it's not part of a parabola, part of a hyperbola. So they will have particular types of functions, which we'll go into a bit later. Have a look at this sentence here. Two variables are inversely propor proportional if multiplying one by a number results in the other being what by the same number. Have a think about that. Think about what the last one was in the last video, the connection between the y and the x there. So this is the opposite in that sense. So it's if it's being divided by the same number. I'd write that sentence down. Okay, so having a look at this here, way of thinking about this is y, um, the, the formula, the equation for these types of lines is y is equal to k on x where k is a constant, so that's going to be a number. Now how do we find k? Think back to some simple algebra, if that's our equation, how do we get k on its own? How do we isolate it? You multiply through by x. So that's how you would find the k constant. All right, so just summing that up there. Let's get into an example. Having a think about this. So we have the number of mowers. We could have one, two, three, four, five, or six mowers. And how many minutes it might take to mow a field. You have to think about that. If you're increasing the number of mowers that you've got, what do you expect to happen with how long it's going to take? Well, you expect it to decrease. And... But in what way? So having a look at the change here, unlike direct proportion, um, where it was constant, in this case it's inversely proportional. So that that change, the rate of change there, is changing in between each mower. If you graph that, this is what it would look like. So the amount of time is decreasing. And we we're asked to show that x and y are inversely proportional and hence find the equation connecting the variables. So have a think of what we would do there. Well, perhaps I should have made you think before I showed you this slide that how we had before um, the x, y is equal to k. So we would multiply each x by y. So we'd have 1 times by 60, 2 times by 30, 3 times by 20 and see what happens. And if they are inversely proportional, you'll get the same constant. So that's the technique that you do when you're asked to do this. And therefore the equation connecting them will be x times y is equal to 60. We say that they are inversely proportional and therefore the equation connecting them is, so the equation in terms of y is you do some rearranging, 60 divided by x. And so that's the equation um, of that graph and of these variables. That's the end of this video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. And the next video in this series is called Reciprocal Functions. Thank you.